Lovely. Okay. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Let it out your mouth. Raise your arms above your head as you breathe in. And then separate the hands and bring the fingertips down to the ground. Again, breathing in through the nose. And out through the nose. One more time, breath in. And this time bend your elbows, bring the hands to your heart. Interlace the fingers, stretch the arms away. Reach up and bring them down by your side. Bring the right arm up and over, take a slide over to your left side. You can relax the left arm, the left shoulder. Mm, breathing in. And out, take the left arm up and over. Let's do that again. Satisfying side bends over to your left. And over to the right. And then come back to the center, bring the hands onto the knees or the thighs, roll the shoulders. Good, with the hands on the knees, circle the upper body. change direction and work your way back to the center and you can turn the palms up now sitting tall Allow the eyes to close. Take a moment to be quiet. To check in with yourself. To start being aware of the body. Noticing. Scanning from your head down to your toes. Noticing how you feel in each part of the body as you move your awareness down. And as you work towards the toes, just starting to become a little more aware of the movement of your breath and where you feel it in your body. Noticing the sound of your breath. And then counting the breath in, breathing in for one and out for two. In for three and out four. And you carry on at your own pace till you reach 10. And then starting again at one, just drawing the attention back to the counting of the breath when you notice perhaps your mind wanders.
training the mind to be interested in just one thing. That's a tricky thing. <clears throat> Our minds are used to moving around. Just keep on drawing it back to the counting of the breath. And then wherever you are, you can stop counting. Become aware of the ground beneath you. And then open your eyes. Great. Lift the shoulders up to the ears, roll them back and down your spine. Hands slide up towards the hips, roll the shoulders back, raise your chin. Exhale, chin down to your chest, draw the belly in, hands slide over the knees. Again, breath in. And breath out. And then release. Come back to the center. You can come off your cushion. And you stretch the legs out. Good. And then having the legs together, sit tall, place your hands down onto your mat, see if you can get the arms straight, roll the shoulders back and stretch the heels away. So you activate the muscles in your legs, flexing and then release. Engage the muscles, stretch the heels away, toes are clawing back towards you and release. And again, two more. Waking up, firing up the muscles in the thighs. And again, stretch the heels, toes back towards you. Great. And release. Give the legs a little shake. Bend the knees. Lean them from side to side. Good, stretch out your left leg, bring the right knee in, sit nice and tall. Bring the left arm across, take the right hand behind you, breath in, and exhale, twisting to the right. Two more, breath in, exhale, breath in, and X. Good. Release. Switch over legs. Just stretch that leg out. Bring the left foot in nice and close on the same side um, of your body. And then the right arm across, left hand behind you. Breath in. And exhale. Breath in. And X. Breathing in and exhale. And then returning to face forward, stretch the legs out again. Breathing in, lift the arms up, reaching the left fingers, reaching the right fingers, reaching both of them together, and then exhale, lean back halfway. Open the arms as you breathe in and lift your spine. And exhale, draw back. Again, breath in, open the arms. And exhale, leaning back. Inhale. And exhale. Two more like this. In. Ex. One more. Inhale. And X and remain here for a couple of breaths. Relax your shoulders, stretch the heels away, keep the legs engaged. 
um, engage the abdomen as well, draw the navel in. Good, and then reach the arms up and exhale, forward fold. Draw the hands up towards the shins, half lift, roll the shoulders back, project the chest forward and exhale. Breathing in, half lift. Breath out. And breath in. And exhale. Good. And roll the spine. Bend the right knee. Take your hands behind you. Lifting the hips now. Pointing the left toes. Waking up the arms, the shoulders. And release. And lift. Release and lift and release. Switch over legs, bring the left knee in, the foot on the ground. Exhale, lift your chest, raise your hips. Release two more. And lift. And release. Great. Stretch out both legs. Raising the arms up. Exhale, lean back. Breathing in. And exhale, forward fold. So sliding the hands up, bending your knees. Turn yourself around into your hands and your knees. Mm. Rolling the spine in cat now. And then we turn <clears throat> to the center. Let's slide the left leg back and raise. Toes tap and lift. Tap and lift and tap and lift. We're gonna bend that knee now and flex the foot. We're gonna press the sole of the foot up towards the ceiling, little glute squeezes six five four three two and one now point the toes and exhale draw the knee in underneath towards your chest inhale stretch the leg out let's do that twice more exhale tuck in inhale reach out Exhale, and in, good. Come down on your right elbow, <clears throat> angle the hand slightly across towards the left corner and bend the left knee. We're gonna circle this left leg to open up the hip. Change direction. Inward circles. Lovely, now you're gonna leave the hip open, come to the top of the pose, flex your foot again here, and you're driving the heel over towards the right side. So little pulses here. Three, two, and one, great, and then release, bring the knee down, return to both hands, exhale cat, inhale cow, 
and move the hips back to the heels. Exhale, come back to your flat back, slide the right leg behind you and lift and lower, lifting, lower, lift and lift and then bend the knee, tuck it in, stretch the leg out mm. and then Bend the knee so the sole of the foot is pressed up to the ceiling. That's it, little glute squeezes. Firing up those muscles in the glutes. Strengthening the hamstrings as well. We're always focusing a lot on stretching the hamstrings, but it's really important to strengthen them as well. Okay. All right, point the toes and then exhale, tuck the knee in underneath, crunching into your chest and inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, tuck in, inhale, reach out. Again, tuck in and reach out. Bring the left elbow down and start to circle the leg, the knee, the hip. Good, change direction. And then next time the leg is elevated, the top of the pose, flex your foot and drive that foot over to the left side. Little pulses. Oh, feel it more on this side. Three, two, and one. Lovely. Bring the knee down. Come back onto both of your hands. Tuck your toes under, down facing dog. Ah, that feels good. Bending one knee at a time. So remain here in down dog, bend both of the knees just a little bit, stretching out the backs, the tops of the thighs, move your shoulders further away from your wrists, chest to the thighs. Great, and then you can push back. So walk your hands back to the feet. And unroll the spine. Good. Come to a standing. Give the legs a bit of shake. Good. And then exchange the weight from one foot to the other. Good. Can you raise both heels together? Steady your eyes. And lower, lower the heels down nice and slowly. Great. So raising the arms up above the head. Go turn the palms to face forward and then open and close the fingers. Lower the arms in front of you, do the same. Open and close the fingers. Good, then take the arms out to the side. The same. Uh, 
and then let the arms drop. Lift the shoulders up to the ears. As you exhale, let the arms drop. Again, lifting, dropping. Again, lift. And release. Good. Hands on the shoulders. Circle the elbows. And then release. Take the weight onto the right foot. Raise your left knee. Raise the right arm. Bring that arm and the leg down, transfer the weight. Raise the right knee, raise the left arm. And release. Hands on your thighs, forward fold. Bring the fingertips down and walk forward to plank. Bring your left knee down and spin the foot behind you. Raise the right arm over. Bring the right hand down, return to plank. Bring the right knee down, spin the foot behind. Taking the left arm over. Bring the hand down. Plank pose. Bring the left knee into your chest. Switch it round for the right and the left. And the right, left, and right. Bring the knees down. Go back to child's pose. And lay on your front in Sphinx Pose. Releasing the ribs. Sliding the hands back underneath your shoulders. Feet together, breathing in, lift. Breathing out, release. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in, lift, raise your hips. Tuck your toes under, down facing dog. Ripple way forward to plank pose, shoulders over the wrists. Bend the knees a little, travel back, down facing dog. Lift the heels, ripple way forward to plank. Again, bend the knees, travel back, down facing dog. Ripple way forward to plank. Then bring your left knee down again. You're going to spin the foot behind and raise the right arm over. Next. 
time raising the leg off the ground. Bring the foot down and lift and tap and lift and tap and lift. Return to plank, both hands down. Bring the right knee down, spin the foot behind. Left arm over and raising the left leg. Toes tap and lift. Tap and lift. Tap and lift and hold. And then bring the foot down, bring your hand down, return to plank, down facing dog. Mm. Soften the knees, look forward and walk forward now. And roll your spine. Exhaling at the top. Have a bit of space between your feet. Raise the arms by your side, shoulder height. Good, make sure that your spine is comfortable here. Um, you don't wanna be sticking the bottom out, so maybe a little pelvic tilt here so that you can feel strong on this stretch on the front of your lower ribs. <coughs> I'm going to circle the arms to stay relaxed in your shoulders if you can. Make the circles bigger. Change direction. Hey, so this is one of the exercises that Jill does every day. So I thought we should practice it today in honor of Jill's inspiration for me. <laughs> and then let the arms drop. <laughs> Turn your head to the left. Turn your head to the right. And then back to the center. Good. So um, come wide on your mat now. Separate the feet. Um, turn your left toes out. So if you're facing me, at least we can mirror each other. Good. Let's take a warrior two, first of all. So bend the front knee. Breathing in, peaceful warrior, palms come to the center. Exhale, warrior two. Raise the arms up this time, palms touch at the top. And open again, warrior two. And then drawing hands into the center. Good. We'll move to Trikonasana here. So keep the legs straight, open the arms, and reach over towards your front leg. So over to your left if you're facing me. Bring the right hand onto your waist and lower the arm, the left arm down towards the shin. Relax that arm. Now take your right arm around your back and start to rotate the ribs up towards the ceiling. Good, exhale and soften in, relaxing the left arm again. Just be aware of your 
um, the, your grounding and your strength in your legs. And then unfold the back arm and lift it up so it's straight above you. Tuck the fingers together and the thumb slightly separate. Remaining here for three breaths. Very nice and long and spacious in your spine. And the torso that is uh, low towards the ground, just try not to collapse, but be strong and horizontal. All right, looking down towards your foot now, bring that right hand onto your waist. Bend your front knee, support yourself on your way up. So yeah, looking over the front arm. And breathing in, peaceful warrior pose. So let's turn um, the, the left toes in and then bring both heels in. And we'll just take a little midpoint goddess pose here, bending both knees, shifting the weight from side to side. Lovely. Good. And then find the center. Knees moving out to the side, the outer edges of the feet, nice and strong, steady, hands resting on your thighs. Good, so here you can tilt the pelvis back slightly so you feel like your bottom is moving back a little bit. Yeah, otherwise you tend to sort of um, yeah, put quite a lot of strain there on the hips. Take them back a little, you might be able to come down a little bit lower, but make sure that your knees are moving out to the sides so you're not collapsing in on the arches. Good, breathing in, stretch the legs, stretch the legs. Mm. And uh, bring the toes, both of them, to face forward. We'll take a forward fold here, hands onto the waist. You can have softness in the knees and hold on to your elbows in front of you just to release the spine. Um. Letting go of the arms, unrolling the spine. And let's move on to the other side. So turn the right foot out. Warrior two. Lift the arms. Relax your face, your jaw. We're warriors, but we're effortless warriors. Breathing in, bring the hands together. Breathing up, open out. Raise the arms up above your head this time, stretching the legs. Breathing out, warrior two. Breath in, bring the palms together. Trikonasana. Raise the arms, open them out, and reach your upper body over to the straight leg, over to the right. Bring your left hand onto your waist, and lower the arm down. Use the exhalation, working with your body, not fighting against. Take the left arm around your back, rotate the ribs.
and then unfold that left arm. Bringing your arm down, bend your front knee, return warrior two. Breathing in, bring your hands together, turn your right toes in. Again, let's spin both heels in and bend the knees. Hands on the knees, shift the weight, you can move your shoulders as well. Great, and then work your way into the center. Yeah, and um, let's lean forward a little, sort of pressing your hands into your um, into your legs above your knees, and we'll twist to the left. So bring the right shoulder forward, turn your head. Let's twist for the spine. And then release and over to the right. Come back to the center. Stretch the legs. Spin the heels out. Hands onto the waist. Forward fold. Yes, yeah, so let the arms drop now to your mats. How about sending the feet a little bit further away from each other? And then turning the hands round so you could walk the hands through. That's great. So bring the hands back, walk the feet in, walk them in, and then roll your spine so that you are standing. Good. A little bit of free movement, maybe exchanging the weight from one side to the other. Good, up on both toes, down on the heels. Right. Have a block handy. We're gonna to return to the sequence that we practiced last week. From warrior one. So bring your block to the front, to the top of your mat. And uh, we're gonna set the left foot back just have the block there sort of so that you is in easy reach. Warrior one, facing the top of your mat, the right leg is in front, lift your arms. Yeah, just grounding both feet. Nice stretch for the back calf. Hamstrings are Nice and warm now, inner thighs, good. Bring the arms down and stretch your front leg. Lovely, bend the front knee, raise the arms, bring the palms together and bend the elbows. So our first element is warrior three. Take the weight forward, stretching the back leg, floating the back leg. And then opening up your wings to bird pose. Reaching into your fingers, into your feathers. Good, and your back leg, the hip, the knee, the toes, 
pointing down to your mat. Step the foot back. Raise the arms, return, warrior one. Bring the arms down, stretching the front leg. Here we move into pyramid pose. Hands on the waist, tilt the pelvis, forward fold, and then reach for your block. So you can have the block um, underneath your shoulder. So it's, there's a bit of space between your foot and the block. If you want to work, if you want to um, have more challenge, have your block closer towards your foot and maybe even lower the block down so it's not so high. You've got to reach a little bit further down. How are the hamstrings feeling? So <clears throat> hand on your block, reaching the spine forward, rooting down in the feet, and then let's twist to the right. So the right arm around your back, And you can either remain here like that, or you can unfold the arm. See what feels good for you. Keep the back heel rooting. And we'll circle the arm down. Bend your front knee, let's move the block away. So you don't kick it when you step forward which we're doing now. So stepping forward to the front of your mat. Mm. Take the weight on the left leg. You're gonna take a tree pose here. So place the right foot on the inside of your calf or above. You can really lift the foot high to the inner thigh. Bring the hands together, tree pose. Let's stretch the arms up. Spring tree mudra, pointing the index fingers. Bring the palms together. So this is where we move the pose into a Flying pigeon pose, I've called it. I'm sure it has a different name. But you bend the standing leg and place the foot or the ankle across on top of the knee, the bent knee. You can reach your arms out in front. So you're sitting back in like a chair pose with the right knee bent, the ankle across the front of the knee. Okay, work your way out of that free movement. And then you can step your right foot back. Let's do this sequence on the other side, balance out. Yeah, right foot back, bend your front knee. Warrior one. Bringing the palms together. Exhale, float forward, warrior three. So you want to move your gaze, steady your gaze. So you're now looking down on the floor in front of your mat. Then open out your wings. And see if you can lengthen and reach into all the corners of this balance pose. The right hip, the knee, the toes pointing down. Stepping back, warrior one. 
Bring the arms down, stretch out the front leg, hands onto your waist, pyramid pose. Hinging forward. Grabbing your block so that now goes on the right side underneath your right hand. Left arm around your back, rotating to the left. Try not to rotate the hips. So we want to keep the feet steady and the hips aligned. Sometimes just by keeping your left arm across your sacrum, you can sense whether there is any movement that might just help you to remain um, aligned there and the rotation to happen, the ribs, the chest, and the head. You could unfold the arm or keep that arm behind your back. Mm. And bring the arm down. Release. Move your block aside, lifting the arms. Take a step forward, bring the arms down. Oh, it's that left, that left leg. Let's pick that up off the ground and take a tree pose with it. So take the weight onto your right foot. Tree pose, lift the foot nice and high if you can. If you're steady, try and lift the foot really high to the inner thigh. If not, Take your foot to the calf, bring your palms together. Tree pose with spring tree mudra, pointing the fingers up. Let's bring the hands back down. And now start to bend your right knee. Hold on to your foot as you make that maneuver. Hold on to the knee also, changing your eye point of focus. Keep your hands on your foot until you are happy, until you're steady. Sitting back. Flex your foot. And then bring the arms in front. Good bend of that knee. Taking the weight into the heel. Um, if you're feeling this in your calf muscle, try and take the weight back a little bit in your hips, in your heel. Good, release. Placing both feet down. Ooh. Great. Turning to the front. Let's work our way down to our mats. <clears throat> Great. Um, if you've got a bolster, Bring your bolster. Um, just before you use your bolster, lay yourself down on your back. Bring your knees to your chest. Mm. Cross your right leg over the left. So like not just the ankle, but above the knee. Relax the upper body, your shoulders, and then lean the knees to your left. You could put the left foot down and then lean over. 
just so we've got a point of stability. Hmm. And knees over to the right. We come back to center and switch your legs around. Then direct the knees down to the right side first of all. This is the main focus. Spending a little bit more time here on this side. Trying to keep the left shoulder on the ground, turning your head to the left. And then counter pose over to the left. Coming back to the center, releasing your feet. Bring your bolster around and allow your legs just to rest over your bolster. Or a cushions or a pillow or something if you haven't got a bolster. If you're comfortable, take your arms away from you, palms turned up to allow the shoulders to melt back. The muscles around your spine to soften, to release. Tilt the chin down to your chest ever so slightly to lengthen the back of the neck and in between the shoulder blades. And acknowledge any sense of energy or vibrancy as your body now becomes still and quiet after our vinyasa and very yang practice today.
start to become aware of any sounds around you. Maybe send out your, your radar a little further, noticing sounds in the distance. taking some deeper, more mindful breaths. Starting to bring some movements into your feet and your hands. Bending your knees, placing the feet on the bolster. <clears throat> and then laying on one side. Use your hands to return to a seated position. Notice how you feel. Bring the hands together. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. Have a lovely weekend, everyone.